with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. And uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, anybody that listens to me, which, you know, I don't know, have any idea how many, not very many people. I don't have any kind of a forum to speak in. Uh, I probably ought to try because I'm a pretty good talker. And actually, I talk best when I'm in conversation with others. I like the back and forth banter uh, and that stimulating questions people ask and statements that they make. But um, I, I do love everybody and I care about everybody. And I see my happiness as tied up in your happiness. And that's why, that's why I, you know, I do this. This is what I care about is you. Because I see that it comes back on me. And that the only way I will find happiness is by caring about others' happiness. And I want you to have those same things, those same components I've discovered are necessary to find happiness. I want you to have. And I really do understand what it's going to take to be fully liberated, to be fully free. And I understand that I have to be free from money. I have to live in a completely voluntary reality. That when I serve my fellow man, in whatever capacity I do that, I do it as a free man. That it is completely 100% my decision, my choice of what I do and when I do it and for who I do it. Okay, and that's the way it's got to be, not just for me, but for you, but for him and her and everybody else on the face of this earth. And that's a reality we can have. That's a reality I strive for. And that's a reality I encourage everybody to strive for because that's literally heaven. Okay, that is, that is heaven, is to be free, completely free. Okay, it's supposed to get really good. If you really do your best to follow God, to follow the truth, the spirit of truth is the spirit of God. This is the Holy Spirit. This is the great counselor, the great comforter then you are promised that you will inherit these things. So even if you stay in rags all your life in this realm, you have a much better realm to look forward to. You have a realm where you inherit a body that cannot perish. Can you imagine a body that can't be threatened? Now how could anybody be poor in a reality like that? I mean, if I wanted to riches, then would I just go take it and nobody could hurt me? Okay, I mean, the wicked fear this more than anything. The wicked would be, if, if the wicked were in heaven, they would be in hell. Do you understand the rock and the hard spot God is between? If good was running things in this realm, the wicked wouldn't want nothing to do with it. But that day is coming, and they know it's coming, and they know it's rapidly approaching, that their end is almost up. And I will go to Bible prophecy and point this out over and over again. I will point to these old men like uh, Hal Lindsey and Gerald Flurry and countless others who corroborate with what I'm telling you. Okay, they've devoted their life to the study of Bible prophecy and they all are in agreement that we are living in a very, very special point in history. We are living at a time in history that many believe there's very few years left and that you know things are rapidly winding up and they could wind up even more rapid exponentially more so and that we all need to get ready and really decide which side of this battle that we are on and and you know at what point will we say hey that's it I'm gonna get the mark of the beast I'm going along with the system you know what I mean you guys are right but you know what you're just gonna lose and you know we're we're gonna we're going with the beast okay that's what it's like that's what's coming down here and you know and every one of us is going to be tempted to join the dark side because uh it's easier you know i mean you're 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 fighting an uphill battle if you're fighting for truth you're going against the grain and we're living at a very troubled time and uh and in, i believe it's the tribulation period and it's going to get pretty rough. It's going to get pretty rough. And, um, you know, and what can we do? What can we do except struggle, except fight to survive, except say, you know something? You know, um, I may not survive this thing, but you know what? I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust that 
you know, that he has the power that even if someone kills me because they hate me so much because I stand for truth, that even if they do that, that God can as easily give me a new body as he gave me this one. And I do believe those things. And in my last breath, I'm going to say into your hands, I commit my spirit, Father. And while I'm a pacifist and I hate violence, that's all it means to be a pacifist, I'm not a coward. And, you know, I, I have a right as a human being to self-defense. And I believe that everybody does. And I hate violence. But, you know what, I mean, everybody has a right to defend themselves. So, I mean, you know, I'm not going off to some FEMA camp with these wicked people. You know, they'll take me out feet first. But uh, I'm the least violent guy you could ever meet. Let's put it that way. I hate it. I, I've seen the end from the beginning. And I don't want to hurt anybody accidentally. That's why I'm such a careful driver, much less on purpose. I don't even want to hurt your feelings. But I will stand against evil. And if that offends the evildoers, that's too bad because I care about them too. And I'm their best friend. People that warn them are their best friend. That they'd better repent or they will perish. They're going to hell. Okay, and they're going to be very miserable there as well. Could you imagine all these hypocrites having to hang out with each other? Nobody to oppress. Imagine how miserable these people are going to be. So I'm their best friend. God is their best friend to warn them. The time is up. You better get on the right side because good is coming. And for them to try to stop good from coming is trying to stop a hurricane. It's like saying that you're not going to switch the light on in a dark room. It's going to happen, and it's going to banish the darkness. It's going to destroy it. And so this is what the warning that goes out to the wicked people is. Is that, you know, I'm their friend, and they better listen up. They better start giving a damn. Because soon their riches are going to rot. And they're going to be, no matter what they do, they're miserable. They'd be miserable in heaven, they'd be miserable in hell, and they're miserable right here and now on planet Earth. These people might think they're happy because of their portfolios they're not they're miserable and you just want to make sure you're not one of the many hypocrites the many elitists the go along to get along status quo establishmentarians because they're all going to hell too a lot of poor people are going to hell if they're covetous so i mean this whole thing gets pretty serious and one thing god's not is stupid so you can deceive yourself okay you can deceive others but you will not deceive your conscience you will not deceive the owner of your conscience, of your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit, your body. The one that has all power and all authority, all sovereignty, belongs to the almighty creator God. And you better all remember that because he's the one that's going to decide how it's going to be in the future. All right, well, I guess it's time to end this video. and. Um, I'm sorry if I seem a little manic, a little neurotic maybe, but you know what? It's been said by other great people out there, guys like Michael Tessarian who understands the deeper, deeper things, that you don't want to fit into this system. And Jesus himself said, in this world you must hate your life. He wasn't talking about the earth, he's talking about the system. The system that's run literally by the spirit of Satan. Okay, that's it. By these wicked people, they are embracing that evil spirit that is opposed to all that is good, haters of humanity, opposed to God, and opposed to truth and light. And, uh, you know, and if you fit into this system, you're the sorry one. So if you don't fit in, if you feel a bit manic, a bit neurotic, a bit insane maybe even in this world, you're the ones that are on the right track. Okay.